to stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate my subscribers. I appreciate your like. I appreciate you for subscribing to my channel, for watching my videos, for liking my videos. I appreciate you guys so much. If you are just passing by, thank you for passing by. And if you find this video that I'm about to do useful and helpful, please do not hesitate to hit on the like button like the video to make me know you appreciate what i did with this video and if you have not subscribed subscribe like my video share my videos and do not forget to hit on the notification bell at the side to get an uh, update whenever i upload a new video today actually i'm going to be teaching you how to make a petal sleeve using a square pattern so that's what i'm actually going to be teaching you can see the picture up here that's what i'm using a fabric manipulation with squares so that's what i'm going to be use, teaching you how to do today so here right now i have my basic sleeve pattern that's what i'm going to be using so i'm just going to make it very quick and fast and then the square that i'm actually going to be cutting out squares different i'm um, go going to be cutting out squares so i'm just going to be using um i'll be making use of uh, i already have some cut out here so that's what i'm going to be doing so I'm, i use them for this one i use six inches on the on all the sides six inches so this is like six inches here and then six inches here and then six inches here so that is what i did i'm actually supposed to make use of the ruler but since this is just a rough, so that's why I'm doing this. So please make use of a ruler. So to make it very straight. So this is what I have. I cut out two pieces. So this two pieces, what I'm going to be doing now, I'll use half quarter of an inch to run a stitch round like this, this side, on the four part of my square. And then when I get to this point, I'll stop at one inch. I'll leave just like a one inch opening that I'll use to turn it. So I'll just take it to my machine and then sew the four parts. You remember, I used six inches all round. So that's what I did. So I already have some here that I made that I had already finished sewing and turning. You sew it and then turn it. So at the end, well, after sewing and turning, for you to know that you got the right square when you fold like this you fold it to iron it after ironing you fold it like this and then iron it to have the straight line at this middle when you place like this to iron when you see that everything is equal then you know that your square is is a perfect square so that is what i have with all the ones that i did then at the end that part that you open to turn when you finish you just run a stitch on it you run a stitch on it just top stitch on top of it so that is that so i have a couple of um of the squares already laid out here so for this you are going to be cutting out so it actually depends on the size of your of your sleeve pattern the sleeve that you're making so that is what will determine how many um pattern like for a sleeve for a basic sleeve like this of um of width because this is what we're actually working with of a um, round sleeve of 10 inches you need like 20 patterns that you need like 20 pieces of this to be able to achieve this that's for a sleeve for a round sleeve of 10 inches so you need like 20 patterns so that means you'll be cutting out 40 pieces like this you'll be cutting out 40 to sew and turn at the end you have 20 pieces so now the next thing i'm going to be doing now I'll, I'll be transferring my pattern to my fabric which i already have laid out here so I already have my sleeve out here. So I'm just going to be showing you how to how to manipulate the squares into it to fit into the picture that I showed to you earlier. So for this, what you do, you open up your sleeve. You just open up your sleeve and then you take this part. That's the down part of your sleeve. And then you take it to your machine and then you run a stitch. Before you start, you run a stitch along the line if you don't want to run a stitch if you if you are using lining you, you turn it with the lining and then you have clean knit edges like this and then you open it up like this and then you determine how 
white you want the band part of this sleeve to be that's from this down point so for this i'll just uh, take my petal sleeves like this i'll just take them and then measure i'll just use it to check so i'm just going to be starting everything that i'm doing i'm going to be starting it from here so that is um uh, so you can actually measure it to know that is like four inches So this is my four inches line so this is where i'm going to be placing all of my petal sleeves from so i'll take the first petal sleeve so the the major part of this sleeve is is this line is the down part that's just where the emphasis actually lies on this sleeve so that is where the emphasis lies so i'll just take the first one like this you can see it and then you place it like this on this point like this you make sure you leave half an inch points that you are going to use to stitch your sleeve when you are done you leave that half an inch line you just leave it here and then you take it like this make sure the tip is on the line and then you you run a stitch you can decide to run a stitch a straight stitch you can decide to run a straight stitch from up down or you can decide to just top stitch top stitch and then top stitch so you have two options you either run a straight stitch from up down or you decide to stop stop stitch. so after doing this you just you just bring it like this and then you leave and then you take the second one because the, all of them they are already lined out you take the second one and then you come to those points again you see what i'm doing you come to this point and make sure you have like half an inch space between for it lapping on top of this one so you just place it like this and then make sure that the mouth that's the tip is is closer to the first point and then you roll a stitch and make sure this point also And then the third one you just do it like that until you get to this end you just place them just keep placing them like that you can see them lapping on top of each other so the emphasis really is just this tips that's this down part and this up part that's where the emphasis is so like this one slapping on top of each other you can decide to leave it that way but the emphasis is here so you just Take it like this again. You see the other one is sitting close to that one. And then. So you just pin, pin and pin and pin and pin until you get to this end. When you get to this point, you stop at half an inch. Depending, depend on how uh, your your sleeve, um, the round armhole of your sleeve, and then you stitch according to your round armhole. You still you run a stitch straight like this. Just run a stitch. Until you get to the top. And then you can see. So by the time you attach the sleeve, you attach it like this to your to the to your dress. So you have your square petal sleeves you can see how beautiful it is looking so this why this is looking soft is because i use a, a soft fabric so if you are using a soft fabric i advise you iron interfacing on it to make it a little bit thicker 
or if you don't want to use the soft fabric you can use uh, like a scuba you can see the picture i put up they actually use a scuba for that you can see you can use like a scuba fabric it's thick and bulky so with that everything to just stand and it will be perfect and if you have you're using a, a soft ankara i advise you just iron and interfacing on it and with that you see how beautiful the sleeve is looking so you can see so this is how you cut this is how you make rather a petal square sleeve by manipulating the fabrics so thank you so much guys i've come to the end of this um tutorial if you like what i did please do not hesitate to like this video share it and then comment thank you so much try out new sleeves instead of just stick sticking to old ones